I'm confident that those councillors that have been elected do have the community interests at heart and will value add to the future direction of Wyndham as we move forward to make this city one of the most tremendous cities in Australia and really make it a place that residents can be proud to call home. Uh, when I got asked if I would like to say a few words, I said yes, and then they said you've got two minutes. <laughs> Those of you that know me, two minutes is no way in this world that I can't to say anything else. Um, I've been around this council for a long time, but I've been from 1979. <laughs> Well, I guess, uh, given the two previous speakers, I come from the other side of the spectrum. Someone who is very young, uh, someone who is more new to the community, someone who has not served as long in public life. But what I can say is that I will give it 100% every day for the next four years. I didn't actually expect to, to have a speech today. I didn't really prepare it yet. So. But uh, I do like to sing these so, songs. So first of all, I would like to thank everyone that uh, who supported me during this campaign. I see Wyndham as a growing community. It's exploded from 25,000 to 212, and its infrastructure just hasn't kept up. Local jobs haven't kept up. The police, you know, like, honestly, in an area where domestic violence is high, to have half the numbers of these in suburbs is just not good enough. So we really need to be with you and get that built. Um, yeah, local jobs. Okay. Yeah, if we have the actual fair local jobs in the area, the traffic issues wouldn't be as bad as what they have. So I'm hoping we can work together to really address those issues and, and make a Wyndham that's strong and proud of what it is. As many of you appreciate and understand, waste is the place to be in. The waste is a live, vibrant, happy place. I would like to thank all of the people who elected me in the past and all those residents who took the pains to vote in this council election. Let us join hands and unite as one. And I want to see a progressive council working in a bipartisan manner for the betterment of the community. I have to say it's been an amazing journey in the last few days. Um, anyone that says one vote doesn't count, <laughs> I can say I meet. And um, the amazing thing was I ended up getting in on eight votes. If the new councillors that have just come in, if you think you can get around for 15 hours, believe me, you can't. It's 30 hours plus. It's an honour to serve as a councillor in this city. The position itself is important. The person who feels it is not. It's what you do and what you have. And to some of the people who churned out the vitriolic garbage that they have in this election, I'd like to say to them, if you think that we are doing such a bad job, extract the vision and you work in this community for the next four years and then have a crack in 2020 and see what you can do. Don't tell us how bad we are. If you think something's broken, Go about trying to fix it yourself.